We are one week away from Super Bowl 56. Are you ready to party? I am ready to party. I think a lot of people are ready to party. Our guest today has got some show stopping ways to celebrate safely on game day. Joining us is the party goddess, party planner, uh, Marley Major. Hello there. How are you? Look at how gorgeous <laughs> everything looks there. I'm great. Who am I? Matt Stafford. Stafford or <laughs> you are whoever you want to be, but here's, I got to tell you, I am like in awe of, of your decor. Uh, the part, oh, wait a second, I'm sorry. What a name, tell us about the, okay, I'm so sorry. There's so, there's so much going on. The Meat Stadium, what is this about? Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the flowers, but let's start with the Yeah, meat I was looking at the stadium. flowers too. Well, my version is kind of like a cross between the Rose Bowl parade float, I've decided, and the Meat Stadium. So like on Pinterest and everything, I was obsessed with the Meat Stadiums. Now, you're not going to be able to tell exactly, but this is a replica of SoFi. And so what I did was literally made it. And this is this kind of teardrop shape of SoFi. And then it's got the round stadium you see. And then the beans represent like people. I mean, it's way too thought out. And then you've got the grass here, which is um, time. And then you've got all your snacks. So it's also got this great COVID vent because your guests can just come up. They can take their little individual thing of potato chips, take their little individual charcuterie deal, and you're good to go. And guess what? They're not pawing all over the meat and like, oh, here, let me have the cheese, et cetera. So this is my version. And by the way, I think you're going to see it everywhere now. Marley, who, right. doesn't, who doesn't love uh, bingo, right? So you got a fun twist on bingo. Apparently it's potluck style. Okay, yeah. So here's the thing. Everybody thinks like with potluck, oh my gosh, it's all about food. No. Why not have like potluck activities, right? Where ahead of time you say, okay, listen, one person can be the designer of the bingo card. One person can be the person who like manages it if you're doing it virtually. There are so many ways to participate and then one person can be in charge of games. And so what we did was you can customize it. You can get our download if you want, but it's like you can do it for commercials or you can do it just for the game. So you can be like, hey, listen, you know, for those of us who don't know that much about football, you're like, Bingo if there is a car commercial. Bingo if there's a beer commercial, right? Or something like, you know, bingo if there is a whatever, touchdown. Fun. All right, let's talk about bringing the soup into Super Bowl. Okay, what I love, which you can kind of see behind me, but is take the chili cans, right? So you make a batch of chili, super inexpensive, budget friendly. You can do it like veggie or not. And then it's also COVID friendly because guess what? All you do is wash the cans and create the little uh, Super Bowl thing so that it goes around it. And then you're eating out of the cans and you can like one of ours says like back off. This is my chili. And it's got the like all the yard lines. You can have fun Super Bowl facts on it. You can have like snarky stuff if you want. You can have the team logos. There's so many fun ways to do it. And then it's kind of like the drink. Like, you don't have to worry about putting it down and like, uh-oh, what happened to my drink? You can put your chili down, it's labeled back off. Hmm. You know, I'm noticing Matt Stafford is not the only head in that live <laughs> shot right there. So Exactly. Yeah, so now, Matt Stafford was the head that I liked, but I can put him down temporarily. Yes, I have several other Well, fabulous I'm asking heads. that because apparently you can get, you can still get a selfie with the sports star. Is that how you would do that? Well, you can, but here's the DIY version, which, like, it's all about the DIY. You can do this totally last minute. Just print some of the headshots of the players. And then all we did with this, and for those of us who are challenged, right, I have the name and his position and the team because I don't necessarily know that, like, he's the Rams whatever. So you can cheat. So you got your selfie stick, but then you're cheating. And look, all it is is cardboard. And basically a popsicle stick. I mean, a tongue depressor or a popsicle stick. And you're done. You just glue it on. How did I glue it on? Next. <laughs> Next. All right. So let's talk Next. about safety. <laughs> safety is still important. How are you using bubbles to celebrate responsibly? Okay. So I am obsessed with the bubble tent. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it's this amazing thing that I this probably designed for out, outdoor restaurants, which is irrelevant to me. So I got the bubble tent because I was like, wait a second. Why not? There's so many ways to do it. If somebody's immune compromised, you put those guys in the bubble tent, but they can still watch the TV, right? Or you can put people of one team in one bubble tent, people in another team in another bubble tent. And what I think would be hilarious is just to have somebody filming reactions as you're watching the game. Because one team is like, oh, one bubble, and the other one is going to be like, oh, you know. 
So I think it's just awesome. You can zip it up. You could, there's so many fun things to do, but you could literally put your table and chairs in there and like it's your own little party unit. Or guess what? For kids. I mean, I like zip and lock. <laughs> zip and lock, exactly. All right. For more party <laughs> ideas from Marley, you can visit thepartygoddess.com. Thank you so much.